Hi, welcome to another Holistic 3D tutorial. In this tutorial, I want to address an issue that's just come up recently with some upgrades to Unity. So I'm currently using Unity 2017.3. And if you've upgraded your Unity and you're using FBX models from outside of Unity, you might have noticed some issues with the textures that go missing. Now, that's the case if you're using Maya, Cinema 4D or Mixamo or anything else that's sort of creating an FBX file externally to Unity. Now I use Mixamo quite a lot. Unfortunately, this tool is no longer being supported um, by development staff, so it's not going to continue to evolve, which is such a shame because it's a really great resource uh, for us game developers and animators. And if you're not familiar with it, then do hop on to Mixamo.com and have a look at all the great characters and animations that you can grab from there. Now, the issue that you've got is after you've downloaded a character and you can download from Mixamo, you can go download and you can set your FBX for Unity and then download, whether it's got animations or it's just the model itself you end up with an FBX file. The same as if you're using Maya or something else, you've got this FBX file and it should have the materials and the textures embedded in it. But when we go over to Unity and we bring our object into the assets and then drag it into the scene, we'll see that we've got no textures. And even if you go into the assets and open up what's in the asset folder inside of your FBX, there's not a texture image in sight here. There's some materials, they've got nothing on them, and well, you get this. So the way to fix that now is to select your mesh in your assets folder, the one you just brought in, whether it's from Maya, Cinema 4D, or you know wherever it came from, Mixamo in this case, and in the inspector, you'll find that there's a new materials tab. And it's this materials tab which will allow you to extract the materials and the textures. So let's extract the textures. And it's going to ask you where to put them. Now put them in a new folder. Let's just call it, let's call it materials. Trust me, you want to. You do not want all of these textures in your asset folder and then it will create that and it will plonk all of those image files in there for you. Now, if you're used to getting this sort of message about fixing the normals, it's going to also pop up for you. Just go fix now. And if you select the materials, we open that up, you'll see all of the textures from the model now appearing. And yes, he does have um, eyeballs floating on his head and I will fix that in a moment. It's actually a shader problem. It's not a problem with your mesh and you can get that specifically from Mixamo characters when you bring them in because of the way those shaders and normals are set up for that um, you know, particular material. So to fix that, select your mesh again and go over to the inspector and go extract materials. If you have a look here, you'll see that these uh, mapped materials that are listed have nothing next to them and in fact if you go to your character that is in the hierarchy which obviously has materials and textures and select like the body texture you'll find that it has the material shader attached down here called body mat but unity will not let you edit it so if you want to fix this eyeball poking out problem you can't do it yet you have to go back to your FBX mesh and then click on extract materials. So we're going to click that. We're going to put it in our materials folder and hit choose. Bring those all out. Now when we go back to our model that's in our hierarchy and we have a look down in the inspector, you'll see that you can now edit what's going on in the shader and the shader in this case I find if I go to like a legacy diffuse shader it will fix up that problem and you can pick the one that works the best uh, and that gets rid of that sort of inside outlook that you might get on some things that you've brought into unity and that's it so that's the steps to go through to get your FBX model from wherever it's come from into Unity and fix the textures when they appear to have gone missing. 
Thanks for watching. Please support the development of more superb online learning content by subscribing. And as always, visit holistic3d.com to learn more about awesome games development books and tutorials.